CEO of the NIEPA, and we are particularly interested in the internet governance policy research. And we are also doing the information security for the SME uh, and the current status. So this is uh, what we are doing recently. Yeah. Okay, the first of all is, uh, you know, as you know, that is uh, after the 1995, I think the internet getting the very important, not only for the economy, also in the so, you know, so, uh, society and, you know, uh, loads of uh, different angles. So, as I might say, personally, I from the, you know, the technical, and we are more interested to see how this uh, internet impact to the, you know, the overall societies. And so we start to begin to do this kind of research and to see how the policy changing the impact to the society. This is the first area we are interested in the research. The second part is actually, as we know, the information security getting more important and more critical for the business practice. So starting in 2003, we actually uh, began with the methodology design and doing the information security ISMS uh, practice uh, for a small medium enterprise. And fortunately this year we have a 10 company uh, began to be apply uh, our new methodology and I think we get a very uh, very good result. And we are, tr we are you know, try to sharing our experience to anybody uh, around, the, around the world. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, uh, that is a several different uh, period of time the internet growing. I think in the very beginning, you know, start from the 1960s till the 1980 to 1990, I think there's a very quiet time of the internet. And I was, uh, fortunately I was involved when I worked for the American company in the co Credit Research back to the United States in Minnesota. There is, uh, you know, in during the time, the internet is still only using for the laboratory and academia peoples. And we still doesn't know the power of the internet yet. And I think just uh, start from the 1992 or 1993 until the 1995 or 1996, uh, seeing the World Wide Web and the Mosaic, the, the, you know, the mechanism and the uh, uh, interface tool is available and the internet power and the potential really be find it is not only in the academia or, or laboratory. By the way, even into the cultural development, into the economy and the business practice, and also, also the, you know, the social connection. And this is a very powerful tool. And so I still remember back to the 1995, I actually hold a, a, a full set of the conference talking about the internet impact to the economy, to the education, to the politics, to the diplomat, to the, you know, uh, society, something like that. And if I back to thinking about the conference I, I run it in the 1995, I think we still underestimate the powers, you know. I think it's much more powerful than we thought about uh, back to the 1995. And as you know, from the 1995 up to the year 2000, that is the, we call the booming of the internet. And during that time, actually, I quit the, the job in the laboratory and joined in the business practice. You know, and I would say I'm one of victims. You know, I I I I am not success. I, I was a, a, a part of the boom uh, bubble. You know, and so you know that is a very interesting time to 1995 to the year 2000, you can see a lot of people really crazy about it and put a lot of resources and money in there. And I think in that period of time, a lot of people underestimate the basics, basics of the, 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 the business model and making the money is still the fundamental of the successful business. And the people have a too many imagination. I think during that period of time, a lot of people say, internet is a something we, there is nothing we cannot do if we can imagine. <laughs> so I think that is a period of time a lot of people imagine so many 
of funny things, you know. And some of them is not really get into a reality as a business model, but some of them really work, you know. And, but seems like if you look at the year 2000 till now, and a lot, uh, people really learn a lot of lesson during the booming uh, 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 and also the bubble times. But the internet didn't stop the growing, you know. And so if you look at the situation right now, and I think we can see the internet still expand its territory, but also we have some fear about the internet uh, environment changing. And for example, you know, during the time, a lot of people say the internet is a one of the best place for the free expression, you know, free speech, and a liberty of the human imagination, something like that. But we find that actually internet also create a very harmful tool going to, you know, uh, have a serious impact to the human or, or um, let me say, uh, the people's uh, privacy issue, you know, security issue. And that really is uh, something is really, I think, uh, for the, a long term participate in the internet, we really afraid the privacy issue will be a victim for the internet expansions. Uh, we are happy. We, uh, I personally, I'm happy to see in the IGF meeting, you know, for this week, uh, the privacy issue be raised in, you know, in the meeting, and people concerned, you know, and hopefully. Um, more and more people really understand how the privacy affect you know the the, the, the to be violated by the you know uh, many different reasons. Most of the reasons say because uh, we need to make the internet security better, and so privacy is part of you can sacrifice. You know that that is a kind of the uh, very interesting implications, and. At the same time, I think another thing is uh, the free speech, you know, and uh, I think a lot of people in this conference and the people talking about uh, free speech, free expression, I think that part of the, that is uh, the good of the internet. And of course, uh, some of the people abuse it, you know, we, we understand that. But somehow the, 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 the solid structure of the, you know, the, 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 the government or infrastructure is a layer and personally, I still believe uh, it, the, the security and the issue is not a critical. It's a, it's a you know, uh, what to say, it definitely can resolve in certain level, you know. And the privacy and the free speech is uh, something we should, res we should protect for the basic human, you know, uh, general values, you know. That is uh, uh, my personal point of view of, of this whole development. Yeah, because uh, if, if that is a powerful uh, technology, uh, in, in many cases, I say that the technology actually is a neutral tool. It's a neutral technology. It's technology, technology didn't take sides. It's a people tech side, okay? You know, technology is uh, something just uh, tell you what he can expand to a certain direction or certain futures. He didn't tech side say he should do this or he should do that. Basically, it's a human being take the side, you know? And I think this, the, for a powerful technology is a very important thing is uh, the human being need to use the wisdom instead of uh, knowledge to handle the powerful technology. Uh, I mean, the difference between the wisdom and the, the, the knowledge. Knowledge, you just, exp you, very easy, you will abuse the technology. You use the technology to do whatever you like. And you even do some of the harmful things and you don't know, you know. I, I, I like to use the wisdom mean the wisdom is not only knowledge, you also making the right decisions, you know. And so you are mentioned about level one. 
if the human being using this powerful technology and use the wise wisdom to take care of this powerful technology, that is a policy will be impact. You know, that is a policy will be in in that way go on. You need to do it. You know, so I think this is a very interesting uh, uh, meaning. You know. Uh, from the IGF, from the ICANN, in the many internet-related conference. And I think m many different multi-stakeholders join in, and you can see this technology or its impact from the very different angles, you know. And for example, I think the IDN, for a, a, a simple example, Many years ago, actually, I didn't see the IDN is really critical, you know, because I thought about IDN is kind of the, well, sometimes I question is, uh, are we really need a multilingual domain name or not? But until about one or two years ago, I hear the people from the Arabic world talking about how difficult they handle the, 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 the domain name you know, from left to right, you know, because Arabic language is from right to left. And I tried to put myself in that position. I began to understand why they are so eager to get the multilingual domain names. And from that point of view, you can see what I'm pointing about is a, a policy a, a, a policy under a wisdom decision, I think the very important is that we must hear all the different parties to speak out what they are talking about, what their difficulty, what they please. And then we, uh, we all sit together to get some compromise and to get the best choice is, uh, is uh, to be accessible, acceptable by all the people, you know, and all, all the different parties and community. And I think this is a, a, a so-called policy decision, and this is a very new way, you know, it's very different to the traditional. And in the past, uh, we might be say the multi stakeholder, but we are not really do it, you know, because uh, we still very uh, keen to the authority. We are n do not have much space of the, uh, 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 or we don't have uh, opportunity let the different party or different people, different community entity to speak out their their, their thinking. And I think this is a very important practice for the multi-stakeholder decision process. And I think this is a very good starting point and to get in the, uh, a, a good internet policy making decision process in, in the future. Personally, I don't like to involve this kind of political issue, you know, they have a their own different interests, you know. I can have their own different interests than the government and others, other party. But I think it's the most important is that do we have that platform available for every multi-stakeholder to speak out and to say what their concern, what is their interest is. And I think uh, I can might be is the, the first uh, such environment to create it, uh, to be available for the multi-stakeholder to speak out. No matter you are a government, or your community, or your organization, or your entity, or you are uh, just a single individual. And I personally, I'm very happy to see the IGF take almost the same way. Uh, if you compare with the WSIS process in the last five years, and I usually say last five years, I think the WSIS take a lot of lessons, and the IGF is a change dramatic, dramatically. And I think uh, you, if you're talking about who should take the policy decision, and I, I would say, Every single person, every single entity, corporation, government, non-profit organization, international organization, they should take the responsibility. No any single body can make a decision on this because uh, this is a totally different, very different environment as uh, we, the human being have in the past.
Well, hopefully we still can keep a very simple human value continuous. Okay. Uh, for example, the decision making is a transparency, you know, and we are listen to the multi stakeholders' voices, and we still maintain the human privacy. And also, we also like to see the economy keep growing based on this new technology to developing the global net, you know, and everybody can connect. And of course, some of the people say we still have many people left behind. And of course, that will be another issue we need to resolve. But at least the internet did create an environment we don't have that before. And we make this world really connect together. It's、um, much easier and simpler than you are taking the international fly from Asia to Africa. You know, you can get on the net in two seconds. You connect to the world. You know, and you can explore. And I think this is a dramatically innovation, and this is a dramatic change in for the human environment. And if you if you want me to make a wish, I wish the internet really can help the people understand understanding each other much better and much well performed than the you know the traditional uh, 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 environment we had before. And I I I think that might be is a good things. Anything can improve the communication between the human being. I think is good technology. Connecting, connecting and communicating. Great. Thank you very much.